What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network and if you're watching this video then that means that I actually was crazy enough to do the whole 7 uploads a day thing if the video got 700 likes. Yeah, I had these things prepared man. If you're watching this then that means you got fucking 700, oh man, it's... Anyways, the fact that you would be watching this, thank you. You dudes have no fucking idea how much it's appreciated. It really lets me know that you guys are still around, you're still alive, you're still watching me, so hey, I'm still gonna be delivering content. I'm gonna be trying to mix it up. I'm, I have some really big ideas, some really huge movements that I'm gonna be making with this channel in May. Wi-Fi battles are going to be back on the scene. I'm gonna try to make those as frequent, or at least almost as frequent as these showdown videos, but for now, let's Let's not, let's not get into the schematics of that. I got me a brand new team, and we're going to go right into a match with these guys. I've been using them for a little while now. I tested them on a different account, and they did really, really well. So now I really feel like I'm solid with this team. I want to try it out a little bit more. You're probably looking at it and saying, what the fuck is this? But you, you, let's see it in action, you know? Before we judge, let's just see everything in action and, and see how everything works out. So for now, we're going to go with my... Um, we am going to go with my Swampert first. Now, this Swampert is a very, it's, a, it's somewhat of a different set. This is actually a max HP, max special defense Swampert. And um, it's normally meant to just set up and whatnot. So we're going to set up right now, throwing them stealthies out. He's going to, and because we're specially defensive, we'll be able to take that Hyper Voice really, really well. I'm liking that. He's going to switch and go into his Rotom Wash. I was waiting for the Smog on Laundry Mat to come out. Hit this thing with the Toxic. I prefer that over everything. He's probably going to try to get the Burn on us now, which really doesn't bother us because, you know, I know that Swampert's special attack isn't as good as his regular attack, but I knew Rotom Wash would be a thing, so I wanted to still do damage to them, even though, you know, Rotom is a thing. So now he's gonna try to Vault Switch. Of course, we're immune. Maybe he thought I would switch out, fearing the, um, the Stealthies. But, I mean, fearing the, um, the Will-O-Wisp, but I don't really fear that too much. We're gonna hit this thing with the Toxic now. It'd be great to get Sylveon poisoned as well, although he does have Heal Bell. Yeah, yeah I figured he would have Heal Bell. It's all good, though. Right now, then, if he has the Heal Bell, the best thing that we can do is just shuffle around, you know? If some Pokemon don't have, um... Okay, damn, this guy has freaking Pokemon. Damn, okay. Let's just go for the Hydro Pump on this thing. He's gonna go into the Smog on Laundry Mat once again, but because he has Sylveon passing the Wishes, it's not going to mean anything if I damage this thing at this point. Meanwhile, he's gonna be able to damage my team really well. If I can't status him and I can't do damage with attacks, then... I don't really have any options, man. I really don't. I gotta kill that fucking Sylveon right away. It's gonna go for the Willow. It's fine. Go for that Roar. It's fucking Sylveon. I gotta kill this bitch as soon as possible. It's gonna make things really difficult. Um, Swampert has an expiration date now, so I gotta, I gotta start making a move. I can't just shuffle around. If he didn't have Sylveon, this wouldn't be a problem. If that thing is a cleric. From here to Kingdom Come. I'm gonna have to go into the Agon. Then he's gonna go into the Small Gone Laundry Map. But if he goes into the Small Gone Laundry Map, I could potentially. That's the thing, I don't have anything to hit. Road to Marsh really hard. I don't have a strong grass move. All I have is Grass Knot on Delphox. Let me just go into Agron anyways, so and I'll be able to take what Sylveon wants to do. He's gonna go for the Heal Bell, of course. Uh, let's just go for the Mega Evolution for now. And then go for maybe, yeah, I'm using a Mega Aggron. I really wanted to experiment and see how well it does. Let's go for the Mega Evolution and go for the Iron Head. Of course, the Smogon Laundry Mat comes to grace us once again. Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're, you're a pleasure to have around, bro. You really are. I, I, I fucking hate, bro. I'm so badly. <laughs> Screw this thing up the ass, man. <sighs> Let's go into Swampy. Probably gonna Willow Wisp again. Go for the Vault Switch again, of course, of course. And, um, yeah, we don't really have many options. Let's go for a roar again. He's gonna, okay, okay, this, this is good. This is good so far. Heracross comes in. That's some good damage right there. That's some, that's some good damage. Now, hmm. This guy's probably saying, okay, maybe I should just go in there with Sylveon. I, I, I know he's gonna probably come in there with Sylveon at some point to get wishes off. We want to make sure that we're able to threaten that Sylveon out as much as possible, but I do want him to stay ballsy. You know what? Let's go for the Hydro Pump. Oh, I forgot. It's a good thing he didn't have freaking Bullet Seed used, but then again, yeah, that's going to be able to finish me. All right, this is fine. Let's go into Delphox now. We'll be able to threaten him. We'll be able to threaten him really well. I want him to go into Heat Ran, so this way we can go for the... Um, I, want to, I want him to go into Heat Ran, but then again, it's kind of risky because if I decide to stay in... 
Then again, yeah, let's just go for the Carmine. It's gonna go straight into Heat Man. This is fine. Now we have Carmine up. This Delphox has leftovers, so you know it's not exactly going to be a. Um, it's not going to be as physically powerful, but with the Calm Mind, I should be able to set up really well in here. Now let's go for, I don't want him to have Roar. I don't know what kind of heat man this would be. He might just have Earth Power, he might just want to stay in with that. But I think two Shadow Balls at this point should do a lot of damage, so let's just go for two Shadow Balls. Wow! Specially Defensive Heat Ram, okay. Is he going to have a phasing move? Let's go for another Calm Mind. Is he going to have a phasing move? He's going to have a Toxic, okay. This is fine, this is fine. We have leftovers, so the Toxic won't do so much to us at first. Um, let's go for the Shadow Ball again. Damn, that did like nothing, man. I knew he probably would have Roar. It's okay. But now, he's probably going to be threatened out. Maybe he'll be threatened out thinking that I have Earthquake. I want him to think that. I really do. That's why we can go for the Dragon Dance now. It's gonna go into the Small Gun Laundry Mat once again. I fucking hate Rotom so badly. <laughs> this thing is a fucking... I gotta come with something just for Rotoms. Just for Rotoms. Oh my god, I hate this Pokemon so badly, man. It's like, I can't even... I can't even, like, express it anymore. Like, I can't express it effectively anymore because I... I hate it so much. <laughs> I really fucking do. <laughs> it's such a fucking bitch. He's gonna go for the Willow, of course, of course. Um, now, let's just go for a Leech Seed, and... He's gonna go straight back into Heat Man. That's fine. Probably predicting the freaking... The, um, he's probably predicting the Willow Wisp on me. That's okay. We'll go for a Protect now. At least get some extra damage from the Leech Seed going, you know? And, um, now... Man, I can't, I definitely can't count on the double attack, can I? I can't count on that. You know what, let's go for a Shadow Sneak anyways, because I am especially... No, no, I'm a physically defensive Gore guys. I'm physical, not special. Oh, I totally forgot. Damn it, all right. Okay, so now we should be able to go in there with Zoark and finish off the Heat Ran. And it's probably going to be disguised as something else. Why aren't you disguised as something else? I wanted to throw him off. But, um, okay. This is fine. I'll just go for the Dark Pulse. It'll hit pretty much everything except for fucking Sylveon, who's gonna come right on in, which is so fucking predictable right now. It's so goddamn predictable. It's it's painful how predictable this is. In fact, it's so predictable, but if if I predict, well, I'm thinking going to Mega Aggron when Sylveon's coming in, because it's pretty obvious he's going to switch, but then Sylveon, but if he doesn't switch into Sylveon now to take this hit, then I'm going to get destroyed by this guy. So it's all pretty much a matter of what I have to. I have to play around Sylveon. I really fucking have to play around Sylveon. Fuck this game, man. Fuck this game. Okay, go into Delphox. Fuck it. This is risky, but and he stayed in. Whew, Jesus, man. This is a dangerous game I'm playing, man. This is a dangerous freaking game. Um, and now let's just go for the freaking raw. Shadow Ball. Screw it. Oh my god, he still lived? But at least we got the special D drop. And now he's going to die to the Leech Seed. So, oh my god, this is such a freaking irritating team. Jesus, I hate OU the movie. <laughs> These guys are a problem. Sylveon mainly because of that thing being able to sell Rick everything. A cleric everything, excuse me. Cleric. It pretty much negates everything that the Stealth Rocks is doing. Okay, he's gonna go back into freaking Sylveon. Here we go, here we go. Okay, let's go into Aggron. And, um, he's gonna go into the Smog on Laundry Mat, but that's pretty damn predictable, so maybe I can play around that, you know? But, nothing really wants to mess with the Smog on Laundry Mat, because I have nothing to hit Rotom Wash with. It's like I gotta come, I gotta have a strong grass move. I have to. There's nothing else I can really do here. I gotta have a strong grass move. Rotom Wash is going to resist that so well, and so damn. Obvious that thing's gonna come in, man. It's got a lot of freaking bulk. I got nothing to hit this piece of shit with. God damn it. Go for the Iron Head, fuck it. I knew he was gonna come in. I thought maybe he would think that was too obvious and then just try to figure it out. Well, here we go. Let's just go for Delphox and then hit this guy with a freaking side shock. That's the only thing we can do at this point. It's the only goddamn thing we can do. Man. Oh, he's, he went straight for the Hydro. Oh, okay, well. It's a good thing that I missed. Thank you for giving me something, Hacks Gods. I'm, pl I'm definitely playing against the grain here. 
Let's go for this side shot, man. Oh, I thought I had Grass Knot on this, but then again, nah, Grass Knot wouldn't do anything to Rotom Wash. I've seen Green Ninja use Grass Knot against this thing. They got a lot of special attack, and it barely does anything. The best option we have here is Psy Shock, so let's just go for that. I wonder if he's going to be threatened out. He is going to be threatened out, it's okay. This Sylveon is not going to be able to take two Psy Shocks. It's impossible. And we will be faster, so this will be the end of Sylveon, thank God. Now we have one less thing to worry about in this damn team. Um, let's go for another side shot. He's gonna go for the protect. Great, thank you for stalling me out. Oh god, this is wonderful. Why does Delphox have to be toxic of all things? <laughs> this, would, this sucks. He's gonna switch out again. Go into the small gun laundry mat. Here we go. Side shot, we got a crit. Thank you, game. Oh man, this is great. We might just be on we might just have something to look forward to here. Let's go for another side shot. This is our only option. At least we wore the Rotom down. This is good. Rotom is worn down, so that means that we can come in maybe with Zoar and hit something with the... Oh, we managed to outspeed the Rotom Wash. Great. This is, this is great so far. I'm loving it. So now we got us a double down. Let's see here. I'm thinking maybe Tyrantrum would be the best option. Because he might just go into his, um, his Thunderous. No. And if his Thunderous has Pranks or Thunder Wave, then that, that's not going to be good. So Zoark is really valuable to me right now. Extremely valuable to me. But, you know what, fuck it, let's go for it. He's gonna go straight into Thunderous, it's fine. I'm gonna go into my Aggron. Because, oh, oh, oh no, um, this is obviously a Zoar. So because I'm going into Aggron, he's probably not going to see it as much of a threat to Thunder Wave it. Maybe he's just gonna try to go for the straight up attack. So maybe I can kill this guy with a Dark Pulse. So then again, he's going to be faster because it's a freaking Thunderous. These things are really, really fast. They're extremely fast, so I'm probably not going to be able to kill him. I'm not going to be able to outspeed him, I know that much. So our speed sucks, man. They should have given him a speed boost or something. That would have really been nice for this gym, but I'm not going to be able to outspeed him. It's impossible. So, therefore, the most suitable option here would be to go for a Sucker Punch, I suppose. Yeah, let's go for the straight-up Sucker Punch. Oh, and it KOs! Let's go! Mixed Zoark works, man. Yeah, I got Sucker Punch. You guys saw the options there. All right, and now we got this Garchomp in there. Let's go for that Hidden Power Ice, man. It's gonna do, it's gonna hopefully finish his ass off. Hidden Power Ice, goodbye Garchomp. Let's go, Zoar. Well, Agron. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. All right, let's go. Let's hit this dude with the Flamethrower. Should do a lot of damage in Heracross. Finished. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh man, Zoar. let's work. Let's work, he said. The Phoenix Master. Phoenix Master. I'm battling Phoenix Master? I think I know I heard of this guy before. I think I've heard of you before. Okay, and we finally got the Sylveon left. We're gonna be able to finish this thing off with the with a flamethrower. And well, then again, Sylveon's extremely bulky, even though I do have a life orb on this thing. It, it'll be able to take hits. I know Sylveon. He said that Zoark caught me off guard. I was thinking of going for T-Wave, but oh well, I'm on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Phoenix Master. I've heard of you. Yeah, definitely. What's going on, man? Shout out to Phoenix Master. Go check him out on YouTube. <laughs> Good game. All right, so our rank has gone up from 1584 to 1612. We are finally in a deep cut in the um, OU ladder ranking. We're, we're, well, not deep, but you know, we're, we're entry level now into the serious zone. I'm loving it, man. This team is very unorthodox, but you know what? We stuck through that game, and Zoark's crafty you know, ass managed to w come out through that. I knew that, that Thunderous is going to have Prankster T-Wave, but um, thankfully, he didn't go for it, or else we would have been screwed there. But of course, because he, he thought it was Aggron, he didn't think it would be much of a threat to T-Wave in the first place. And thankfully, that Sucker Punch was able to kill him. That was really well played. Whew. Jesus, I like this team.